The muscles of the back include the trapezius. The trapezius is the most superficial muscle of the upper or superior back. The rhomboids are the muscles going from C7 to T5 to the medial border of the scapula. C7, usually you can feel the bump protruding down here. That's C7 counting down to T5 to the medial border of the scapula. The next group of muscles are the rotator cuff muscles. The rotator cuff muscles surround the scapula. The first muscle is supraspinatus. It is on the top of the scapula fitting in this little groove here. The next muscle is infraspinatus. It's on the back of the scapula. The third muscle is teres minor. It is on the lateral border of the scapula. All of the rotator cuff muscles come out and connect to the humerus. The fourth rotator cuff muscle is subscapularis. Subscapularis is actually on the anterior side of the scapula in between the scapula and the ribs. The next group of muscles is the erector spinae. The erector spinae run along the spine and help hold the spine erect. Erector spinae going from the neck and skull down to the ilium. The last muscle is the latissimus dorsi. It is the most superficial muscle of the lower or inferior back. It covers the entire lower back coming up to one point on the humerus, latissimus dorsi. These are the muscles of the back. The coloring book is another resource that you're going to use to learn the anatomy for circulatory massage. Here are the specific pages that you need to go over for this section. On page 47, you have erector spinae. On page 48, trapezius and rhomboids. Page 53, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis and page 54, latissimus dorsi. The most superficial muscle of the upper or superior back is trapezius. The group of muscles that go from C7 to T5 to the medial border of the scapula are the rhomboids. The four rotator cuff muscles are supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. The group of muscles that run parallel to the spine are the erector spinae. And the most superficial muscle of the inferior or lower back is latissimus dorsi. At Healing Hands, we have created this practice guide to help you learn the anatomy for the circulatory class. It is available for download in the study resources section of this page. Keep in mind that this is a new language and just like learning a musical instrument, the more you practice, the more fluent you are. There is space for you to write the answer for each part of anatomy that you need to learn. Remember, write it down, copy it, and copy it again.